Hello and welcome to the devotion for Monday, August the 20th, entitled Family Focus. Now, I told you this week we were going to be looking at asking questions about family, about work, about different areas, asking good questions. Now, I want to throw out a couple of questions here about your family. The first one is, what does quality time look like for your, for your family? And the second one is like it. Do the activities of your life surround purpose or just diversion? What does quality time look like? For our family, as we were growing up, you know, watching TV, we're in the same room, you know, we kind of have a little bit of connection, but not really. For us, real quality time took place when we went somewhere uh, to be together. Biggest place for us was in the boat. When we were out there, there was no TV, there was no diversion, there was lots of conversation, tiny little space, we're working together, we're coaching each other. It created great connections. It was awesome quality time. When we would go on road trips together, that was another one. But when we were around the house, we had to work a little harder. We couldn't just let life happen. It was so easy for Cameron and uh, uh, Ashley just to be on the phone when they were older on their Game Boy or those kind of things. And we just watched TV and we had to really work at being purposeful, turning off the television, playing a board game. We had to do something that would draw us together. But quality time is not just being in the same room together. It's when we connect. Question one, do you connect? Is there purpose or is there just an instant seeking for some type of diversion until it's time to go to bed and start it all over again? Number two, what, uh, how do we connect and grow in our relationships? In other words, with uh, Cameron and Ashley, one of the places where we really connected was in sports for us. They played uh, originally Cameron uh, played tennis. Ashley did gymnastics. We were in the gym with them. We were very involved with their lives. We helped them. Uh, we worked with them. We went to their practices. Uh, we talked in the car as we were going and coming. Uh, and later, they both ended up playing tennis. But we invested in their lives. The connection and growth was by helping them achieve their goals. In your family, you have to ask, where do we champion each other? Where do we help each other achieve goals? How do we grow together? How do we move forward in a way that encourages each other? The next one is, as parents, do we seize teachable moments? One of the things that uh, I just kind of set as a goal for myself that became uh, something that I talk about all the time, which is teachable moments. Do we look for those opportunities when it is natural to have a deep connection? Now, in Deuteronomy 6.6, 6, it says, These commands that I give you today are to first be on your hearts. So in other words, God said the commandments, the Ten Commandments, the other commandments. He said, they need to be on your heart first. And then he said, impress them on your children. And how do we do that? He says, you talk about it when you sit at home, when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. What is he saying? A natural part of every day. We look for the natural opportunities to teach. That's why I call them teachable moments. We look for the opportunities when a, a child, a young child, asks the right question. It doesn't take that long to sit down and give them the feedback that will instruct them and help them. As they get older and they begin to run into a trouble or life lessons or they begin to have conflict with their friends, those are perfect opportunities to teach a principal, to help them process through, to gain understanding of how to thrive in life. It is one of those things that needs to be a discipline that every parent learns, to be able to seize those moments, to look for them, to go, oh wow, there's an opportunity to really make an impact. That's an opportunity to really connect and not be so busy or so uh, overwhelmed or frustrated or so checked out that I miss the moments that make life rich. So we're looking, what does quality time look like for our family? How, do we do it with purpose or are we just seeking out diversion? How do we connect and grow in relationships? How are we right now helping the other members of our family to gain wisdom, to grow together? And then do we seize those teachable moments? And I want to challenge you. Look at your own family situation. Look at either a thing that you feel like needs to be worked on or an area where you feel like you're strong but you could even be stronger and see if you can come up with a couple of questions that will focus your thought on how can we be more effective. Remember, answering a question isn't the hard thing. 
It's asking the right questions that get us to the next phase, to the next step. So try that today too. And then let Deuteronomy 6, 6, and 7 lead your life. Make these principles a part of your everyday life. Let's pray. Father, Lord, as we look at these four questions, and Lord, others, I believe that you're going to give as we just think about it for a minute and go, how do we make our family healthier, more vibrant? How do we encourage one another? How do we make our spouse or our brother or our sister or our children healthier in their relationships? How do we really connect? How do we move forward? What can we do given our specific family dynamic that could make a difference in our lives. Lord, help us to not just answer four questions, but to even come up with others that go, this is how we will grow. This is what we will do to move forward. Lord, let us live life with a watchful, questioning, purposeful eye that we will not just let life happen to us, but that we will thrive in the middle of a lot of diversity, chaos, and living. And that in the middle of that, we will also have purpose and direction. Lord, do your work in and through us. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, think about those four. Pick you a couple of others. Look at your family and go, how can we make it healthier? And I'll see you tomorrow.